Hi everyone, I am super excited for this package. In here is a unicorn of mine, I guess you could say, which is funny because it's so simple, but you'll see. It's from that brand Vixen that I every once in a while rave about. Often they'll come out with designs that they do not come out again, or if it is re-release, it's like years from that date, whatever the case may be. This is one of those items. Whenever it came out, I wasn't purchasing Vixen. I probably didn't even know what it was. Somehow or another, it probably was in their Facebook group. The idea of it had popped up. Someone posted an in search of, or whatever the case may be. I saw it, I loved it. I looked around for a small or a medium, and let me just tell you, excellent use condition. This item is going for like $100 shipped. Someone posted on their Facebook group, they had a size medium in good condition. So there are some like pulling, there's just some things that need to be fixed on it. Preferably I would have gotten a small, but to risk it and have it not zip up, I don't know how the stretch is. I assume it's really stretchy, so I definitely could have gone with a small, but this I'm willing to alter. $45 ships means I'm okay with altering it. And the fabric isn't satin or anything like that, so I imagine it will be easy to work with. But I will stop talking, let me open this up, let's see the condition of it, and I'm actually gonna go grab my handy dandy fabric shaver that we got off of Timu. Bag is opened, fabric shaver in hand. Let's look at it. Ta-da! I love that she packaged it a bag inside a bag. I always appreciate the extra care. And yep, it is super stretchy. So I should have gone with a small. I'm okay with the medium because I'd rather pay for a medium, $45 shipped. I can't emphasize that enough. It's so good. Then over $100 or $100 for my proper size. I will gladly alter this. So it may look like it's going to be hard to see on camera until I put it on. It may look like a simple dress, but tis not. It is one of those overall type dresses. So this will sit under your bust and you'll wear um, some sort of t-shirt, some sort of top with it. And so that will show through and then the straps will go over it. I love this style. The woman who sold this to me, she did say the front was completely okay and it does look, look okay. This is the back with the pulling. So we can see this right here. Side note too, look how nice this little slit is in the back. I love it. All right, so let me check it out. I don't know necessarily if this is the right tool to use for this, but I also don't know if I care. <laughs> I'm just gonna go over it and see what happens. I think it'll just shave it. Um, and I have to see if there's a hole. Yes, this type of project is not meant for this. So I'm gonna work on this off camera. I'm gonna come back to see after I doctor it up what I can do. I'm gonna take my scissors, kind of bring it closer. Like I said, bring the threading in. Just an update. I cut off all those random strands of thread that were pulling up. I did see a video and they said, if possible, you could have put thread on a needle, put it through that side and pull those loose threads down. However, that wouldn't have worked just with the way it was. It would have been more of a pain, so it was easier just to cut and start over. I'm gonna try and basically feed the needle and thread through from the inside to the outside and just kind of close up as many holes as I can. It will not be perfect, but it should look better than that. So this I kind of touched up. I mean, no matter what, you're always gonna have some imperfections. Same with over there. What I'm thinking is instead of individually, like see, I haven't touched that hole yet but I started going after those holes up there. I'm okay with taking this in, so why don't I just hide any of these imperfections by taking the seam in a bit. So I am hand sewing the new seam in the back. It will just eliminate the little marks that go along the spine. I won't be able to eliminate, this is on the inside by the way, but I won't be able to eliminate that main stretch, which is okay. I mean, something's gonna be better than nothing. So we'll see how it goes. I did remove the tag, which is over there. I'll reapply it once everything is back together. But yeah, this is the update. Okie dokie, hand stitching is done. So let me turn this right side out. And if it fits, then I will just trim this excess off. I cut off the extra fabric. I'm just gonna go through and put a little bit of fabric glue right where those seams meet, just to kind of reinforce it. I'll literally just go like this throughout the whole line. So what I'm doing is definitely unconventional, especially with the fabric glue, but I just wanted to kind of reinforce it. So I'm sorry if there's any people who actually are seamstress and are shaking in their boots, like, why is she doing this? It works for me. I'm wearing the garment. Sometimes I gotta cut corners. 
final update. I have the tag sewed across and sewed back on. So even though it says medium, realistically it's a small now. I have the seam reinforced with fabric glue. So it looks all nice. All those middle imperfections are gone. So this is the seam and that's in the back now. So it looks like 90% better. Obviously there's just nothing I can do with that besides put a patch on my butt. I will say I already did try it on. It fits so good. So I'm gonna put it on now in the video. And where this sits, I think like my butt is right here. So this is underneath it. So you don't even notice it. So let's go put this on right now. I love how it fits. I know I didn't take a video of me trying it on as a medium. It also fit nice then too. So this is how it sits. The imperfections right here, so you literally cannot notice it if I can, I'll zoom in. I think I did a good job. I'm very proud of myself. I saved money on it. And overall, I think it makes for such a cute little ensemble. Let me change my shirt. We'll try it on with another color. And here it is with an off the shoulder, long sleeve black top. I think this is my favorite. I think I even like it more so than the blue top. Happy with my alterations, even if it might not be perfect, it's perfect enough for me. All right guys, well thanks for hanging out with me today while I altered this garment. Let me know how you think it came out. Do you like it? Let me know all your thoughts. Hope you guys all have a great day. If you haven't, feel free to like and subscribe. And until next time, bye friends.